me, Julia. I'm back again with another kiln opening. Uh, this one, I've had no sneaky peeks. It's really cold. It's been cold for two days, waiting for me to find the energy to uh, do an opening. And I'm really excited. I have uh, some new combos and I'm a little worried about uh, there's white clay in here. The last white clay we did had that dunting crack in it. And I've just collected a piece from the uh, community kiln, which I did. Can you see that? Looks a little blurry from my side. And this is millennium clay and um, raspberry mist. These are some glazes from my little group. Raspberry mist, uh, amaryllis and pink gloss. And I'm a little disappointed. The build, first of all, because I did these individual dots, but I didn't put a coil around the edge. And what I found is when you do these individual dots, if you don't kind of have a little security blanket of coil around the edge, they can become a little bit um, fragile. So I did break this and re-fixed it on one, but the, that isn't where the break is. There's a little glaze cracks on a couple of the edges. So one of the them is loose. Then this morning, and I brought it back yesterday, I found this dunting crack. Hang on, am I saying the right thing? No, it's there. <laughs> Can you see there's a crack across here? And that's across one of the dots. It's not through a, it's through a join and then across a dot. And I'm pretty sure it's dunting because it's very sharp and the glaze hasn't seeped into it and it wasn't there yesterday as far as I can remember and I was extremely tired so um, it could have even been done in transit but it was wrapped um, but I think that it's stunting and I think some glaze combos don't like to be on bare clay on the back and some glaze combos just don't like the white clay it would seem. So with that said let's get the kiln open. I promised on this video I would stop waffling so much. So do you want to have a look in? I'm, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Okay here we go. Right that'd help if I unlocked it wouldn't it? Ready? Oh, oh, and do you know what? I've forgotten my little note with my glazes on, so bear with me a second. Right, here we go. I can hear some pinging. Oh, let me have a little look. Oh, 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 wow. Right, I'll have to work out which is which. Let's start with, wow, it's actually a little bit still warm. That's how toasty it stays in there, right. Okay, now this one I did a set of two. The larger one is still on the kiln shelf over there. This is, let me just see if I can work it out while you have a look. White pear. It made sense to me yesterday. Tall, medium, and small white. <laughs> this one. <laughs> right, got it. So, obsidian, two coats on the bottom. Ancient jasper, two coats. No, actually, that's not right. Inside there is some dots in a pattern. Okay but you can only see it there, but it goes into a kind of a swirly pattern. 
I did one coat of obsidian all over, one coat of obsidian but not in the dots, one coat of ancient jasper all over and one coat not in the dot pattern and then I put some blue rutile over the top of that. So that is the outcome. So I was going to uh, put extra little colours in the dots, that was my plan originally, but by the time I got to uh, glazing, I did a whole day and a half of glazing and I was just glazed out, so I just left it, wiped back a little bit, because I just, not wiped back, but I just did the one coat of obsidian, the one coat of uh, ancient jasper and the one coat of blue rutile over this dot pattern, but it's all pooled and covered a lot of the dot pattern anyway. So that's it on the back. That's a larger dot. So this is the medium size, is it? Yeah, I think so. I think that's the, just a little one in the medium size. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the big one because the big one is, is uh, a beauty too. But I did it with the big dots this time instead of a little. And I really, it's almost got seaweed. Ah, that's because it has got seaweed on it. I've seen the little note at the bottom. There's a touch of seaweed on the top. I think I might have done seaweed splashes. In fact, no, I did seaweed this sweeps. Very, very light. It was, um, Actually, I think I did a Glaze With Me video and showed you how I glazed it. I haven't edited it and uploaded it because I haven't seen whether I like it or not. Um, that's that one. So, absolutely beautiful. It's got greens, blues, blacks. Really, really pretty. Really nice contrast. But I didn't even need the dots because the little dot pattern is covered up. We have quite a lot of pinging going on. Do not do dunting cups. Right, this was a refire. We had the small one last time, and this was the Ein Luster that turned out like that. And then I put seaweed over the top, and she's she's gorgeous now. I love it now. That's the difference that, you know, a rear fire can make. A rear fire can work or not work. It's about a 50-50. But on these, it's worked. I have a large one. I'm going to try it on the large one as well. So, okay. Rich toasted. See if I can remember toasted clay. Does that look right? Yeah, I would say so. This one. No, that's not that one. I don't know, I give up. I've got so many. Rich toasted dawn. <laughs> Just have a look at it, it looks nice. <laughs> Maybe I didn't put what I did on this one. Ball set. Um, I think that this one, yeah, I think this is part of a three ball set. Can you see on the shelf over there, this one here? Yeah, I think there might be another one do, with the same glaze on the bottom here. So th this is, excuse my fumbling, this is part of the three ball set, which is two blue lagoon, one textured turquoise, one blue rutile, and two ancient jasper. If I remember rightly, this is part of what I did on the glaze with me as well. But, oh, it's another beauty. 
I love this toasted clay. J just a little tad too much glaze, I think. Just starting to get a little bit of foamy the bottom. And you can see that it hasn't stayed to the edge. But we are talking a lot of glaze. Is that, was it six? Yeah, six. Yeah, six layers of glaze. Although on this, I did go only on the very last one, I did go just to the, the bottom. But, oh, maybe I wouldn't do the six. Maybe I would give up wiping all of the, like, oh, my brain's not working today, glazing all the way around on all six layers, because I'm not, I love drips when they're kind of, I want drippy, but I didn't want drippy, I kind of wanted it to stay where it was, but those, that combination of Blue Lagoon Texture Turquoise, Blue Rutal and Angel Jasper is just obviously very drippy. Don't put it on the outside of things. This work, all these combos work because of being inside a bowl. You can go heavy, heavy, but I would not be doing the same effect on the outside of a pot. If I was doing the outside, and you can see that much drippage from that little bit of glaze, you know, you'd only want to be doing a third of the pot at the most. Right, next, next, next. Ooh, oh gosh. Tall white, let's see. This is three blue rutile, three ancient jasper, and some oatmeal like this. There's that. Yeah, oatmeal like this. If that's the same one, I'm just going to show you. Um, think that's the same pair that's how I did it can you see the oatmeal on there just literally flicked in but oh, it's so beautiful it's kind of brought like yellow yellowy brown and on its own I would be just calling that diarrhea you know but with the blue and that whole the, where I blend all of the clay in I do leave like little ridges and it's totally oh, so yummy but even that look with just blue rutile ancient dust fair, and I didn't put oatmeal around there I probably wiped my brush on the edge but you know, even there, drippy, drippy. Oh, oh, but I love it. And look at the bottom. Can you see? It's like, it's just beachy. Oh, oh I just love these. I'm just hoping that as they, so it's had a cool, 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 like really slow. And I'm hoping that none of them don't pray with me. <laughs> right. Okay, this one. <gasps> this one, I told you that I was going to do ancient copper on the bottom. I think I've got them both in this. Um, oh, right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I must have them both in this curl because I can't see it on the shelf for the smaller one. I think it's this one that's having a ping and it's the ancient copper. She likes to ping. It has covered up. I did four because I wanted a really good ancient copper look, but I should have really just done three because it has covered up a lot of the ball effect. You can still just about see it, but 
Yeah, because where it was thinner, where I did it on the bottom, it's broken that little bit more in the kind of typical ancient uh, copper, but... Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh no, that wasn't. I thought I could feel a crack. <laughs> She's really pinging. This is on the Rich Toasted, but what an absolute stunner. Blue Lagoon, Blue Ruta, Blue Lagoon 2, Blue Ruta 1, Textured Turquoise 2. It sounds like the football results and sweeps of seaweed. Oh. One little pinhole, two little teeny weeny pinholes wouldn't have a problem um, letting go of it, but. Oh. The edges, they just look like waves. <sighs> I fall in love with every single ball. And I really am trying to get ready for market. Well, actually, I'm trying to get ready to open a shop on Foxy. Foxy is like Etsy, but it's for UK, um, artists and uh, makers and so it's just a little smaller and it's still building but I think Foxy I can still ship internationally but I think Foxy would be nice it's less um, costs what's the word commissions uh, than Etsy and I think Etsy so big if you're a small starter it can just get too um, washed away with the crowds you know and you don't get noticed and I'm thinking maybe folks who would be better so once I do get that up and running if any of you guys do want to buy a piece of mine I will be setting up that shop and shipping I don't know how much shipping would be. You know, this, for example, is a pretty weighty piece on its own without uh, packaging. So we'll have to see. But it depends how desperate you want my ball. Because <laughs> I really like them. I don't know if I want to give them away. So, okay, next shelf. <gasps> oh, right, okay. I had a kiln post situation, like that wasn't tall enough. I had to put my extra doubler cookies that got sandwiched together and uh, and that works. So I've got all of those. I'm gonna take them out first, just in case. Wow. Oh, pingy ping. Right, I'll show you these that aren't balls. Another little jug. Spring, spring, spring. Beautiful little Snapdragon. And uh, this was a, I didn't, I have got zinc free clear, but I figured on this I would put, I bought a zinky clear by accident. And uh, I've just felt not so much glaze there but anyway yeah really really pretty and the zinky clear hasn't taken away from the color which is beautiful yeah so I'm a cosmic dragon on the handle and uh, pretty pretty how's a brother wow okay this is the brother. I did better on that one. This is, uh, so yeah, these are decals. I didn't stand and paint all of that. And this is decal also, but would be quite easy to do because it's kind of just squiggly flowers. The only thing is when I've used underglaze in little squeezy bottles, um, I can't see them to hand. But the nibs always, because I've got really, really, really fine nibs and they always just get blocked. So I give up. Um, but yeah. 
slightly bumper here but beautiful nonetheless and along with the little yellow one a great start to a summer collection i'm thinking out of the three i actually like the yellow best for the spring so i'm going to do blue and see how that is <gasps> okay right this is the low one okay so i've been doing some with higher feet some with lower feet and seeing which i prefer these look more stunning i think but these are probably a little bit more practical a lovely little ice cream dish isn't it can you imagine gorgeous little ice cream out of that um so this low one is three smoky merlot and three ancient jasper with I haven't got that one there oh yeah the splashes here's his brother on here he's oh his bigger brother splashes of oatmeal so that's how it was that's how it is now I have noticed somewhere what did I say a teeny something or other stunted right in this corner I can just feel it that is such a shame oh there it is look right across now I was using two different clays and they got kind of mixed up which clay was which two different whites one was supposed to be a speckle and one was the Millennium but these all look kind of the same and I can't see a speckle in any of them which is weird but yeah oh poopy my poor little ball is an absolute dream as well this does seem to be an issue with the white doing all of these layers on I might have to start doing um, colour on the back or do four layers. Maybe I could try to do four and see if that still has the issue. Poor little thing, but he's so pretty. I might see if I can squeeze. I wonder if that follows this no no it's right across it's not on the clay it's on the glaze so maybe I'm just being a little too generous for these little ones I'll probably just glue you know kitsuki kind of thing and then just keep them myself because that's just too nice to throw away and obviously not for food use but I would definitely use it for trinkets and uh, just keeping bits and pieces in. But yeah, there's a little teeny, I think it's that there, wash him. But it is only clay. It's not major, you know. It's time and love and I love making them. And I love the, the glaze combos and showing you guys. But at the end of the day, even if I had nothing to sell, it doesn't matter because the fun for me is actually the whole process, it's just kind of seeing what it would look like. And if other people can buy them and love them, that's great. But I'm really wanting to just experiment. This is, this is just all a giant experiment for me. Okay, one more little small with toasted clay was that the same as him no he doesn't look like him it wasn't oh he's the set he's the mini in the set that's the obsidian no it's not it's the blue lagoon texture turquoise ancient jasper one same as him 
I might just stop making them in the white. I might just build differently in the white. I think I'll just start on the white doing less glaze and see if that works. But what a gorgeous little set. Oh. Little sets. So pretty. I really do love the colours that come out from the, the rich toasted clay by Pottery Crafts. Don't buy it all because I need some more. Last but not least. Okay, this is flat top bowl, two obsidian, two smoky milo, and two seaweed. Wow. Uh oh. No, it's okay, I think. <laughs> Wow. I'm going to be inspecting every ball, but absolutely gorgeous. I think I am going to start cutting down from five to four. And let's see what that's like. All of the ones that I've got still on my shelf, there's just the two large ones actually. Oh, pinger. Um, the two large ones I've already um, done with lots of cuts, but I'm going to start reducing because it is expensive as well to keep cutting so much. Um, but yeah, look at that. Look at the edges. What an absolute beauty. Really, really. The greens and the blues. It's it's much more green than you can see. It looks really very blue, what I can see in the viewfinder there, but it's actually a real blend of greens and blues, very sea-like. And again, you know, this edge looks like the sea. I love them all. My favorite piece is, oh, yeah, copper bottom. He's got to be my favourite. But very similar. Uh, copper bottom was blue lagoon textured turquoise blue rutile, and he was um, smoky mellow obsidian. So there's not like a massive amount of difference in them, is there? So obsidian, smoky mellow, and seaweed. This one, and Blue Lagoon, Textured Turquoise, Blue Rutile, Ancient Jasper here, but not a huge amount. There is a difference, but not a massive amount. For being very different, um, glazes, but yeah. He's my favorite. And he has a smaller one, did I say? What did he? Where's his smaller one? Did he have a smaller one? Oh, I thought that was, yeah. Anyway, I'll, st I'll stop just pondering while I'm videoing. Oh, and by the way, my Gluggle jug survived. I didn't glaze it this time because I'm expecting a new shipment of glazes and I have some new ones to experiment with. So, Keep a lookout because I'm going to film me opening my new glasses for anybody who's interested in what's coming next. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you have a really wonderful day. Thank you so much for uh, playing along with me and watching and uh, subscribing. Please do subscribe though. My goal for this year, it's just a silly goal for me, uh, is I want to get to 1,000 subscribers. So all of you guys who haven't subscribed yet, please do so, because it really, really helps my channel and helps keep it um, up the, the algorithm so that uh, more people can see. So thanks again, guys. Bye.